Hello there, ma'am. What? Uh, sorry, or, um, sorry, Officer Winters, Pluto Bay Police Department. Reason for the stop is you ran the stop sign coming out from behind the gas station there. Okay. All right, you got your ID on you and paperwork for the vehicle? Fine. My ID is 44. All right, uh, Miss White, go ahead and sit tight. I'll be right back with you, all right? Okay. All right, Miss White, uh... What's that? I said, are you aware you're supposed to only be driving in the daytime? No. Okay, well, according to your license, it has the daylight restrictions on it. Hmm, well, they're wrong. Are they, though? Because I don't think they are. Cause that's why they do eye tests and stuff. Okay, go ahead and uh, sit tight real quick. Oh, shoot. <laughs> shoot, I forgot that it says daylight okay, so only driving. Okay, uh, daylight driving uh -huh. restriction Excellent. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and, uh, I that works, so. Failing to obey a stop has, uh, quite a history for. Let's we'll see if they're paying attention. But pretty much they are. Stopped. That's the only reason they I figured it out. The last two, oh, excellent. <laughs> so I think uh, with the daylight restriction, we probably need to get her out of that vehicle. Yeah. That's why I called you. Yes. All right, uh, I'm gonna cite her for the stop sign and uh, probably see if she can get a for the the light. Nice. All right, Miss White, can you do the vehicle for me? Why should I do that? Uh, because you're not supposed to be operating a vehicle at night. Well, what are you going to do with that? Look, I, I, I need you to step out of the car and then we'll talk. Fine. One All right, just go ahead and uh, head to the front of my patrol guard there, please. All right, now I'm gonna assume uh, with all the tight clothing that you probably don't have anything on you, right? Oh, I may have stuff on me. Okay, well, I mean, I'll, I can call for a female unit. I mean, do you just want to tell me what it is? And then we, I mean. Well, you're not arresting me, right? Well, no, but I'm still gonna pat you down. You don't need to do any of that. Okay, but there's a difference between a pat down and search. You're aware of that, right? Oh yeah. I pat you down because I have you on the car. It's an officer safety reason. All right, I've got a, a female officer on the way. Um, but in the meantime, so you're not supposed to be driving this car, okay? You, you have a daylight driving only restriction on your license. And you've ran that stop sign down there at the end of the road. And you have a history with running stop signs and failing to obey. <sighs> so you're going to be getting uh, a citation today for the stop sign. And then also your car is going to be getting impounded since you're not supposed to be in it right now. It's not supposed to be on the road. Fine. And um, I won't be arresting you for it, but... Uh... Get an Uber or something, that's on you. But you're not going to be driving out of here tonight. Fine. Or I'll even tell you what. Do you have somebody that is capable of driving this car that you can call? Because if we can, we'll just have them come down and pick you up and take your car if you can. No. Okay. Then unfortunately the car is going to be getting impounded. Because I can't leave it anywhere around here. This is all private property. And we obviously can't leave it on the street. Fine. All right, is there anything in that car I should know about? No. Okay, you mind if I take a look? 
No. Okay, so tight. Be right back. Okay. So is there anything you want to tell me about or no? Because this female officer is about to pat you down. I ain't telling you nothing. Okay. Because you don't she need to know nothing. Down. All right. Well, see what we get. Hello. How's Hello. it going, ma'am? Fine. Until they pulled me over. Okay. All right, well, my name's Patrolman Wolf. Can you just do me a favor, stand facing the, the push bar here? Put your hands on the car for me. I, I guess. Do you have anything sharp on you? Anything that's gonna poke me, stick me, or hurt me? I might. That's kind of a yes or no question. Look, I don't want to get stuck. If you have something, tell me now. Because if I get stuck, you're going to jail. Do you understand me? I may have a knife. You may have a knife. If you did happen to have a knife, where would the knife be located? It's in one of my pockets. Which one of your pockets? My right one. Right front or right rear? Front. Okay, see how hard was that? Nine yards. She threw everything in bed, bro. You didn't tell me about this, uh, about this gun here. You said sharp. I said they could hurt me too, okay? Well, if you don't play with guns, they don't hurt you. You're not implying she's a hitman. Okay. He's back again. <laughs> Welcome back. Eight. Glad you're having fun. Yep. <laughs> yep. She had a gun on her. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, a handcuff key, safe key, on the necklace here. I okay, took the liberty light. of taking Go ahead that and for place you. Place your hands behind your back for me. And why? Uh, because you had a gun on you and you don't have a permit for it. I don't have to have a permit. Was it no, concealed? You, you do have to tell police when we ask you. <laughs> you asked me if I had anything sharp. Yeah, or anything that could hurt you. Okay, face which the hood. would have entailed a weapon. I already told you, if you play with guns, you get hurt, but if you don't play with them, no. Hey! Okay, and place, he place the already hood. told you to face the hood, so face the hood. Why should I? Because you're about to go to the ground if you don't. Place, face the hood. <laughs> you won't get me down. Just Are you no, sure about that? No, but 26,000 volt taser will. Wow. No! Don't, don't walk... You can get her. I don't have my taser, apparently. People's days. Stop walking. No. You're about you to get tased. You all can leave me alone. Hey! No, that's not gonna happen. Hey. Okay, got her arms. Yep. Yeah, I got her. Let me go. No, stop. Christ. There we go. <clears throat> Let me go. No, not happening. <laughs> At this point, you're under arrest. Okay.
Stop. Oh, man. All right, uh, what, what's the deal with that suitcase? What suitcase? The yeah, lockbox uh, in the back of the car. So you want to take hold of her and yeah, I'll grab her. do a full systematic here. Go ahead and do a full search on her while we're at, while we have her. I did the full search before. I didn't realize okay. I wasn't supposed to. Okay, cool. Let's just put her in the car. Here. Have a seat in the back of this car here. You will find no. the accommodations both unpleasurable and too small. So sit down. Well then I'm not going in. You are. No. Nope. Have a seat. No, nope, I'm there not. We go. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, she's in. Now let's go back to this car. Miss White. What? So as of this moment, in particular time, you are under arrest for resisting arrest and for carrying concealed weapons. Okay, to read you your rights. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present during any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you by the state of San Andreas free of charge. You have the right to answer questions at any time, and you have the right to refuse to answer questions at any time. Do you understand your rights as they were read to you? Yeah. Okay. With those rights in mind, do you wish to answer any further questions? What do you think? I'm gonna go with that's probably a no. Bingo. Okay. That's fine. This place is cramped. Just hang tight here, okay? Holy shit! Ms. White, I know you said you don't want to answer any questions, but I'm going to ask you this question anyways, okay? Does this key on your necklace, does that open the safe in the back of your car? Because we're going to open it anyways, whether we do it by force or if we do it with the key, that is entirely up to you. You don't need to open nothing. Okay, well, that's beside the point we're going to, okay? So does this key open that safe? It might. Okay. Okay. Do you want her here, Anderson, for any reason? You want me to take her down to your station? Way to take her down to your station. No, I would not running around. No. Check with the state unit as well. Okay. Hey, do you want me to take her down to the station for now? Uh, yeah, I guess. It's not. Okay.
5605 County. I'm going to have one female, 1015, en route from my location to the Polito Bay Station, starting mileage 0.19. All right, Miss White, we're gonna get you taken down to the station down here. Six oh five county. You show me out at the Polito station, ending mileage point two five. All right, Miss White, go ahead, hop out. Your handcuff here. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing? It looks like it hurts. That's why you don't do that. Oh, this one looks nice. A lot more room than your convertible. I don't think it's a convertible. It's not supposed to be. Compact. Right, so I'm gonna explain to you how this is gonna work, Miss White, okay? I'm gonna take your handcuffs off and you're gonna stand right here and you're gonna face this wall. If you even so much as move in my direction, I'm going to tase you. Do you understand? Fine. Who the fuck is this guy? You're <laughs> right, anyways, face the car. <laughs> Ma'am, stop right now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Jesus okay. Okay. I swear to fuck you. Hey. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, for god's <laughs> sake. <laughs> At this point, we're just gonna fucking let him go. <laughs> anyway. Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> Here, you two just step away and I'll put her in my car. How about that? Okay, that works. Yep, go ahead. No, I'm not getting down. <laughs> oh, for the love of God. This is fucking great. I'm so glad to be back. Out of character, this is gonna be some good bloopers. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, somebody else put room. her in my car. Hold on. Do we not have the seat option anymore? Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> I... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna scream. I know, dude. This is crazy. <laughs>